a sensitizing storm from the sound of the whip above his head. So I'm going to take the whip kind of similar to how I desensitize him to the sound of the whip, but I'm going to do it at a slight angle so that the top of the whip passes over his head. But I still want to touch the whip on the ground beside me. Um, it just is easier to, to do with your hand instead of just holding your arm up and swinging it over his head and then there's less chance that you're going to hit him with it too. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to just start doing the desensitizing on a low pressure and then I'm just going to wait for him to blink his eyes, lower his head, blow his nose, um, take a deep breath, any sign of relaxing. I'm going to keep his attention on me. I want to keep his head straight. So I'm just going to wait for him and keep the same rhythmic motion going. There he blinked his eyes. I'll straighten him up and start again. He's not real worried about this. Some horses really get worried about things kind of going over their head because it does make a whip crack noise and it's in a different place so it can be scary. There he blinked his eyes so I'm going to stop and reward him. He's doing really good with that so I'm going to uh, have him change sides for me instead of me stepping around him. So it's important to get your horse more maneuverable once they know the cues. Instead of me stepping from side to side while handling him it's a lot uh, nicer and easier if I just have him move around me. It gets him handier, gets him th more thinking about me so it's just a good idea. So do the same thing on this side. Start with a low pressure. I'm just gonna swing it up over his head. It's important to swing it up high enough so you don't hit him or yourself on accident. So we want to practice this um, a little bit before you start. Here he's getting a little distracted, so I'm gonna keep desensitizing him and then bump his head toward me. Still distracted. Gotta get after him a little bit here. And try and do both. It's kind of hard to do two things at the same time with each hand, but try your best. There, now he's paying attention, so I'll stop bumping on him and keep desensitizing until he shows a sign of relaxing. There, he blinked his eyes, so I'll stop. But it's important that you kind of bump on him there when he loses his attention on you, because you don't want him just staring off into the distance, Not because he, he wasn't paying attention at all keep his attention on me at all times. Still looking away, keep bumping on him. There's attention came back and I'll stop. Just gonna move him a little bit, get his attention back on me. And then we'll start again. Blake his eyes so I'll stop and reward him. There, I, I moved him, got his attention back on me, now he's nice and focused and relaxed, his head's nice and low, his ears are relaxed, so he's not worried about this lesson at all. If he was, I would just bump his nose toward me and I would keep desensitizing until he stood still and then I would stop and then go from there. He's alert, he's not shut down, he's paying attention. For the most part, I bump him back to me here. There he goes. He blinked and I'll reward him. That was good.